Hi, I'm George Steimer, Product Manager at TSG. In this short demo, I'm going to compare how D2 and HPI approach working with more than one document simultaneously. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to use edit properties as an example. So here I am in D2 and I have some insurance documents that I'm working with and these two documents uh, have different titles and let's just say that for this simple example, we want to set these two documents to have the same title. Um, so I could, of course, for each document individually, go to their properties um, and change them. But since I'm setting the title to the same thing, um, it's much easier for uh, me to do this in one action. So in D2, as a user, I, I kind of have to know that the way to select multiple documents is very similar to Windows Explorer. If I just click between the documents here, it's going to change which document is selected. But I, if I hold down the Control key and then click, now both documents are selected. So when I right click, the properties option is no longer available, but I do have this mass update uh, option. And it's up to the administrator to configure some forms uh, based on the context of the document type and where what uh, app D2 application you're in. Um, but I just have a simple one configured here for base document properties. So I'll go ahead and do that and it brings up the form. Um, and then one thing here that we're seeing is that this is really just a very simple form. It, it um, only lets you set in bulk uh, certain properties as configured by the administrator. Um, and that's all you can do. You can bulk set properties. There's no way to um, individually set properties for some properties, but bulk set other properties. And we'll, we'll come back to that when we get to uh, HPI. Um, but for this example here, we just want to set these to the same title. Um, so here I'm just going to set this to uh, reports and financials. And go ahead, I'm going to ignore the subject and just go ahead and click OK here. So that should update the title for both, document, both documents. And there we go. So now I'm going to head over to HPI, um, and in this example, again, we're working with some uh, insurance documents, and um, this is a little bit different environment. We have some more properties configured here because I wanted to show how HPI's approach is not only a little bit different how we get to the documents, but also how our bulk properties is a little bit more flexible. Um, so rather than the click select that D2 has, um, we just have these check boxes. So if I check one, I um, have one document selected, but if I check two, obviously there's two documents selected. Um, and we have a couple of ways to access bulk actions. We can use this actions drop down here. So there's my bulk property edit action. As you can see, we have others as well. Um, but I can also right click as well. So here's my uh, the, these same actions. So um, for users on the desktop, they can use both approaches. Um, someone on a mobile device, if you're accessing HPI with a tablet, you really don't have a right click, um, especially if you're on an iPad. Uh, so they, this actions uh, definitely serves for that purpose. So I'm just going to do that. And for here, um, I'm just going to go through the same example, only I'm going to use policy holder as our example. Um, so I'll do my bulk property edit. And in this screen, um, we have uh, the bulk properties page, which is our bulk set property. But we also have the ability to individually set properties. So let's go through the bulk example here. First, let's say we're going to change policy holder to uh, Acme Corp. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And now I can immediately hit save. And um, here we'll see that the policy holder for both of these changed to Acme Corp, as we saw here. But let's take this a step further. Let's say that we want to bulk set properties. I'll use policy holder as an example again. But we also want to set status. But we only want to set the financials document to in review. Uh, so let's see how that works out here. I'll again go to bulk property edit and um, let's just change this back to TSG. And of course we could click save, um, but here I'm going to click next. And that's going to take me to this document where I can individually change uh, this document's properties. And as we can see here, the policy holder got changed to TSG because I set it on the bulk properties page. I'm going to leave this document alone and head over to the financials. Um, and uh, here for the financials, let's say this is the document that we want to set the uh, in review status. Um, so we'll just change the in review for the financials, leave the annual report alone, uh, click save. 
And then now we can see that the policyholder got changed in bulk to TSG, but only the financials document had the status changed to in review. Well, that's it for this short comparison video. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website and blog at tsgrp.com.